Welcome to a quick new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to speed ramp in Final Cut Pro and how to do it right. There are some mistakes, at least in my opinion, that you can make that a lot of people do. And I'm going to show you how I do it and explain to you why I think this is a way better way of doing it than just the normal cutting. So for this example, I use this shot from a music video I shot back in 2018, which is a long time ago, now that I think about it, three years ago. But I think it serves as a perfect example for me showing you how I want to speed ramp this shot. So you can see there's a car which starts drifting, making some dust, some smoke, and the rapper in front of the smoke acting out his little power raid telephone thing. Pretty cool shot, I think. And now I want to make this part in the beginning of the tire slow. Then I want to speed everything up until I'm revealing the artist. And then I want to slow it back down again so we have some slow motion smoke, which should look pretty cool. So a lot of people would go and just, you know, make a cut here make a cut here and just speed this middle portion up to like times eight now make this slow motion automatic and this slow motion with the automatic setting as well which gets you this result and i don't really like it because it's so choppy it's just very slow cut very fast cut very slow and i don't like this and i'm going to show you how you can make a smooth transition from slow to fast back to slow again so let's undo all of this mess that we just did okay so now to make it easier i don't do this for every shot but for this shot it would be helpful to first set the entire clip to slow motion so we can really dial in the perfect frame where we want to start the speeding process okay so it starts right here we want to slow it down up until right here then we put the cursor on the spot we choose click on the clip and hold shift b now we made a cut, but not in the video itself, but in the timing option. Now we can move forward to where we want it to slow down again. Like for example, right here when we have a nice bit of smoke going on around the musician, but still some of the car and the car lights in the background. Now we click it again and press Shift B again. Now we can see we have a cut in the time here and a cut in the timing here. And now we can just take the middle portion and put it from 40% fast up to like eight times for example and now you can see we have controls over the timing how long it should take from from the slow part to the fast part and you can really dial it in and select how you want it to be i'm just gonna go the middle way and now one thing i would recommend you to do is to put some motion blur on it now final cut doesn't come with a motion blur in the software itself but you can use third party accessories like for my example i use the motion blur from ryan angle i'm not associated with him but i think he's one of the best final cut pro assets plugin overlay transition makers out there so i'm going to link you his pack down in the description also the motion blur asset is free so you can just hop over on his website and download it just for free so you can use it just like i'm gonna do it i'm going to search it under titles and i'm going to use the moderate motion blur because i think it's the most beautiful motion blur out of this pack so you can just drag it over the part you want to blur so i'm not starting it right here when it's getting fast but a little bit earlier and i'm also going to drag it out even more so it's not just stopping when it's getting slow again but it's over a certain amount of time like probably half of this grayed out orange here would be good and now you can see it gives you a realistic motion blur you can see without and with it it makes a big difference in my opinion and now we can watch the final clip we're ending up with pretty cool at least in my opinion now here you can see some other examples where i use this technique to speed ramp a shot i use this technique very often in car porns music videos product videos like basically it's in 90 percent of my videos and it's pretty hard to find a video where i didn't use this technique of speed ramping sometimes a little bit more subtle not a full-on speed ramp where you can tell okay this is a speed ramp but sometimes just to make the flow of the cut a little bit better again sometimes you won't even notice that something is speed ramp that's it from this quick tutorial i really hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new if you did please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing for more filmmaking tutorials and filmmaking related videos just like this one you can watch more videos right here and right here and you can subscribe right here and i will hopefully see you in the next video goodbye